One year ago, I uploaded a video of my first DIY 3D printer that is made from almost electronic waste materials or scrap. This 3D printer helps me a lot in making new projects and cool stuff. And one of the projects that I've made using this 3D printer is building another 3D printer, which I named it Green Bee. So obviously kasi most of its parts I 3D printed using green thermoplastic filament or materials. So in this video, ipapakita ko yung building process nitong 3D printer na ito. So simulan na natin. So actually, Green Bee is a Hypercube Evolution, an open source Core XY 3D printer designed by Scott 3D, inspired from the excellent Hypercube 3D printer that was started and developed by Tech2C. Most of its parts are 3D printable, so you don't need a lot of tooling and machining in building this printer. Madali na lang siyang gawin pag may 3D printer ka na. So, I started on listing, ordering, and collecting all the purchase parts like filaments, aluminum extrusions, brackets, bolts and t-nuts, pulleys, bearing and rods, as well as the electronic parts like the mainboard, stepper motors, and motor drivers. So, bumili na din ako ng additional tools like this digital caliper to make sure the accuracy of my build. So, when the 3D printing filaments arrive, I start then on printing all the 3D printable parts of this machine. And of course, with the help of my first DIY 3D printer, Hyperbot. I used green tough FLA filament material for the printable parts of this machine and printed them from around 50 to 100% in fill so to secure the firmness of the parts I prioritized all the brackets so I can start building the frame while printing the remaining parts of the machine Medyo matagal kasi ang 3D printing lalo na pag solid in fill It takes 5 to 12 hours to produce its parts considering na isa pa lang ang 3D printer ko that time. Green yung primary color na ginamit ko kasi inspired ito nung final project namin during college. So, I found it cool kaya naisip ko na green ang gagamitin sa 3D printer in the combination of black aluminum frame. So after printing all the needed parts for the machine, I started then to pre-assemble small parts like the linear motion system and motor mounts. Also, the heated bed frame of the 3D printer. And then, I assemble the x-axis of the machine and test the smoothness of the linear motion system. And when all mechanical parts and linear motion systems are prepared, I started then mounting and installing each of them on the frame of the machine. I installed first the two linear motion guide system for the x-axis of the printer.
and after that, I installed the X-axis assembly that will connect the right and left motion system of the Y-axis. And that will complete the Core XY kinematic system of the 3D printer. I installed then the Z-axis of the 3D printer. So dual Z version yung design ng 3D printer na ito that makes it required a total of 5 stepper motors needed for this machine. 2 for the X and Y axis, 2 for dual Z axis, and 1 for the extruder of the machine. And after completing the installation of all the axis of this 3D printer, binuo ko na din yung mainboard circuit at wirings ng buong machine. And also, installed the timing belts. Unfortunately, hanggang dyan lang yung na-document ko during the building process of this 3D printer. Marlin firmware pa din ang ginamit ko sa system and yeah, it takes also a lot of adjustments, alignments, and calibrations and that's it. Finally, it's alive and working. And like my first DIY 3D printer, it helps me a lot in building new projects and cool stuff. So, malaki ang natulong nito sa akin sa mga bago kong projects at prototypes. Nakatulong din ito nung kasagsagan ng pandemya due to the shortage of personal protective equipment or PPE we volunteered in manufacturing face shields using our 3D printers and donated it to our frontliners So kasama ko yung mga classmate ko from Fulbright College at buong 3D printing community sa Pilipinas nagtulong-tulungan kami para mag mass produce ng mga face shields so bayanihan ika nga the 3D printing community here in the Philippines is also joining the fight against COVID-19. They 3D print face shields and other medical equipment and supply them to private hospitals and also to public hospitals in need. To Napakalaking tulong at napakarami talagang magagawa sa 3D printing technology. So in total cost na inabot o nagastos ko sa materials for this 3D printer is about 24,765 pesos. Excluded the tools and extra or spare parts na binili ko. So siguro in total, gumastos din ako ng about 30,000 pesos for making this machine. Pero sa dami ng projects at products na nagawa ko at naitulong using this machine ay kahit papano, bawing bawi na yung nagastos ko. And aside from that, yung saya pag nakita mo ng working yung machine plus yung learnings, skills at experience that I've acquired during the building process of this 3D printer ay sobra pa. And till now, nagagamit ko pa din itong si Greenbee sa mga bago kong projects. As of now, nakadisplay ito sa Palawan Innovation Laboratory, WPU Puerto Campus and nagiging tourist attraction pa nga ito minsan pag may mga students, visitors at pag may mga trainings or events. So before I end up this video, I would like to give credit to Engineer Jeff Gabayno. So he is one of our teacher during college that influenced us in robotics and 3D printing technology. He started or brought up the project e-waste 3D printers and CNC machines that are made using almost scrap materials. And that brings us to this technology. And until now, I keep on promoting the 3D printing technology here in Palawan, also the robotics. Kasi malaki ang maitutulong nito especially in terms of broadening the innovations and technologies. Malawa kasi ang application nito, not only for hobbyists but also sa mga students, educators, engineers or architects, 
medicals, research, and even businesses like souvenir shops or mga souvenir makers. So, hoping na mas makilala pa itong technology na ito at ma-adapt dito sa Palawan. Especially sa mga schools. Kasi malaki talaga yung capability nito for advancing the technology and innovation lalo na sa mga students. So, I hope that you learned something new from this video and make you inspired with the 3D printing technology. So, hanggang dito na lang and happy printing!